iTunes, the SoundClouds. Um, music becomes disposable really quickly. And so artists may work really hard on a project or even a song, and then they release it, and they do their two weeks worth of promo, maybe a month, and then they move on to the next thing. And they keep going, and they keep going, and they keep going. And it's an incredible work cycle. Sometimes, however, what you want to do as a listener, a person who loves music like me, you want to dig back into their catalog. You want to find out what else they got. You want to find out what else led them to this point. So even the artists that you heard tonight, make sure you dig back into their catalogs. They don't, they don't just have what you heard today. They don't have just their new projects. Go back and listen to some of their old stuff. Share it with some people, because it, if it's new to you, it's probably new to a lot of other people as well. So it could be an old project for them. It could be an old song, like that Taxi song, say one year. Could be could be one year old to some people. It could be brand new to some people. Some people never heard that t till tonight. So what I want y'all to do is make sure you're sharing these artists' music and, and, and helping to spread that good promotion of your own comrades in your own backyard and come from your own city. That's really super talented. And working together, all these gentlemen working together. And when they say Milwaukee artists and they ask you about Milwaukee hip hop, this is what you tell them. This is what you talk about. You heard nothing but quality here tonight. You saw nothing but quality here tonight. And they cohesive. They working together. So guess what? When you when you want to tell people about what's happening with Milwaukee hip hop, that's what you tell them. These young artists killing it. Dropping mad material, dropping plenty of quality, high, high quality visuals. And on top of that, they collaborate. They're working together. They have intelligent conversations about their artwork and about what it means to them and the community. So that's what you talk about when, you, when, you, when people ask you about hip hop in Milwaukee or what's the scene like in Milwaukee. Some of y'all will be out here traveling, competing, performing, doing your thing. Make sure you tell them about what's going on in the scene. And make sure you tell them about True School because we want to work with all the artists in the city, young, old, everything. I just met Tom G for the third time today, but I just met him really today because I just heard his music today. Oh yeah? Yeah. I had no clue. You never know who's doing what out here putting in that work. I'm telling you, plugging that aux cord. I heard nothing but eat. I was like, whoa, who's that? What's your name, son? That was him. That was him. Yeah. I said, that's in Milwaukee right there. Is he from the east side? Who's that? Who's that? That's crazy. He called my ear instantly. He walking around here chilling, quiet. Ain't said nothing. I can dig it. We're going to get this next sound scale up. Who Breezy is up next. He's going to close out the night. Not only sharing some new music, but he's about to premiere a video that will be released tonight, 9 p.m. It's not even up yet. You're gonna see it first here before it goes up. We celebrating also tonight. Celebrating the success of the taxi video. Woo! By launching the live video. Woo! So you can find Pooh Brezzy right there on SoundCloud, YouTube, all that good stuff. Oh, and while I got your attention, this young man who's sitting up here waiting so patiently, give it up for Brema Brema. Now, this will be a whole nother conversation that we have with Brema and a few of our other alumni that don't do music, but they support the artists and alumni that do the music through film, through photography, and through video production. So Brema is responsible for a lot of what you see, photography and film that comes from true school alum and true school artists, but not just our family team, a lot of people across the city. He's got a hot hand right now. He's got a hot hand right now, I'm telling you. The boy's on fire. And you gotta catch him while he's here. Um, catch him while he's here at true school. Ask him some questions. It's true school alumni and um, doing a lot of great things in the city today. So I'm glad y'all both here together. We can always count on these two gentlemen and the rest of our alumni to invest back into the organization. This is a nonprofit organization. That means is we survive, we thrive based on people's contributions. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to donate money or write a check. Sometimes that means literally volunteering. Like my brother asked, how can I, how, how can I be involved in volunteering with this organization? That's how it happens, through not only the community and their generosity, but 
individuals and other young people who come through the program and come up through the ranks and then come turn around and get right back to the next generation. That's why this is so strong. That's why hip hop is taking over as a phenomenon on the globe because it's a youth culture that constantly gives back to the babies. So you don't have to be uh, old and resourced or an adult that has a lot of resources to do hip hop or to keep the culture really moving forward. You could be six years old and just know how to beatbox really good. You don't even have a beat machine. You don't have a studio. You just know how to beatbox really good. It's free. You can freestyle all night. It's free. Imagine that. So, that's neither here nor there. Sorry. So, um, this young man right here, both of these young men, but I'll start with Shells. We call him Sheldon, Pooh Breezy. He's your breakdancing instructor. If you come to True School in the fall, Spring, Pooh Breezy is your breakdancing instructor. He started out also as a student, turned intern, and now is an instructor. Our Tuesday breakdance classes have really taken off pretty crazily. Um, I could go on and on about this man's repertoire and his resume of going all across the country, slaughtering people on the dance floor. Yeah. Yeah. It's valid, it's on, it's on record, it's YouTube, yeah. though. it's yes. everywhere. Yes. He's, a, he's a hired, weapon in the dance world. Yes. Yeah. Play no games, trust me. <laughs> no games. No games. He dances with the Milwaukee Bucks. He dances professionally all over the place. The crew is here, Clan 19. He's an entrepreneur and also a college student. So he went straight, that's right moms, he went straight into school for music Production and engineering is sound, audio, from True School right into MATC and has advanced in that like crazy. I've heard from his instructors and folks in the music department about him. And that just makes us super proud. That he can take the skills and the small valuable jewels that we had to contribute and take that and he's still perfecting his craft. He's not like a master at it, he's mastering. You're always mastering, you're always learning. I want to give a special shout out to his moms, who's here tonight. Woo! Give it up for moms. Little bros, sis, of course. But I think that's so significant, incredibly important for the success of all of our true school participants. A lot of times it does take some parental support, but then guess what? After high school and after you have support and that, just in life in general, it's, 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 it's amazing to have support of parents that support your dreams, support your craft. You know, some parents is telling their kids, what you doing that rapping? But you ain't gonna make it no rapper out here. Put that shit down and go get you a job or whatever, right? Let's go back to, you know. Instead, you got a, a, a mother and a family and a support system that supports not only Sheldon and his dreams and aspirations, but the whole team and support the organization and want to see every young person successful. So that's super important. We appreciate that. Thank you. Um, and, and for the record, for the rest of my true schoolers, you know, shells make it cool to bring moms around. For the rest of y'all, I always tell y'all, bring y'all parents, invite your moms, it's okay, it's cool. JG's another one, always bring the family. On the real, we appreciate that. Um, Cause we extended family. So we are honored to present this new project, but we're gonna start, where are we gonna start at? What you wanna go? I'm gonna go straight to the line. All right, so. Before we go to the live, live. before we go to the live, go to the live one. So, um, first off, I do want to say that uh, I wasn't doing none of this. I was, I always had the talent and the gift to do it, but it wasn't really nourished until I came to True School. So if you are looking to do music production, beats, or even have a little brother or something, make sure they get in contact with True School. I started at like 14 here. I was just dancing. Went from dancing to producing, DJing, painting, all types of stuff. So don't be scared to reach out to your younger siblings or friends or foes. Don't matter, bring them here. Then, um, this guy right next to me, this is my, my, uh, my other right hand man, I got a lot of right hands, but this guy right here, uh, Brema Brema, Optic Legacy, The Goat, he, uh, he had made the first video, Taxi. I don't know if you guys know that. Some of you might, some of you might not, but Taxi had just hit 200,000 plus views. And 
So we would, I wouldn't have the video without this guy, so give it up for Brent, my friend. Woo! Everyone go ahead, though, do a little 30 second clip of that. So, and then that kid right there, Kidda, he's a dancer, he danced to it. Help make it a little shine, give it a little shine. Oh, it's old, man. My hair is not dyed or nothing. <laughs> I got the grill on today. I left it that long. Mouth go like ice. Put around on our army. Live my life in a Grammy. Get in the move and I got so glad. Time play like ice. Tick tock, you'll find me. Keeping an eye on the endo. 007 Nintendo. Play, play, extendo. I play piano. Shoot it down and I play it down. Talks about that new sound. Rounds be so silent. Grass paint them tiny. Shade tanning in red eyes. Blue jacket and green dot. Mouth go like. Mouth go like taxi. Mouth go like. Mouth go like taxi. Roll around now. 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 Alright. So uh, that's the, the video. Watched it a hundred thousand times. Kind of. But if you like it, you can share it. Yeah, I watched it a hundred thousand times. Hey, um, nice team. Uh, one thing I guess I produce all my own music. I don't use a um, I don't have a producer. I do it all myself. Uh, anybody can do it, but I am willing to collab with other producers. I'm just so used to my sound. It's gonna be hard. I'm trying to get out of that, but I'm gonna um, venture off to other sounds. Now. Uh, I'll give you a little 30 second preview of the next song coming out in a month from now or two weeks from now as you guys hear that and then after that we're going to go into that live video and then call it a night. I'm going to play this real quick, Gene. It's called uh, I Got It. I Got It. I Got It. What's the inspiration behind I Got It? inspiration behind I Got It? The inspiration behind that is really not even in the lyrics, it's just inspiration, ugh, the inspiration behind it is my past um, venture through music. I didn't start off with hip hop, I started off with rock, alternative rock, listening to like Chevrolet, Leakin Park, Paramore, Skillet, and go on and on. And I wanted to go back to my roots with that and infuse it with what I do now. As I, do, do, I did EDM before hip hop and the rock part, so I just, Really, it's just to taste like, taste new rainbow, a whole bunch of Skittles. And I just wanted to just throw it together and see what it sounded like, and it actually came out pretty good. So I'm like, let's drop it. I got it. You can turn it up. You can turn it up. I see the taxi video playing, perfect timing, edited by Prue Brizzy, directed by Brema Brema. I want to get a word from young Brema for a minute. Brem, um, Brem. Before we get into this next video, I know you get approached probably by a lot of artists at this point, like wanting to get down, wanting to get some work in, photography, video. Um, what's, what's, what's one of the things that you look for 
in a song or an artist that, that, that will spark you to the point where you're like, you want to do it. Not because it's a good um, fee involved, but not because like they are um, a friend, but like what's, what's, what's something that really make you say, I, I want to do this? All right, so I've, I've filmed a few music videos for just friends. I don't really, I mean, I do enjoy working with my friends. I don't think I would um, take any gigs from like somebody else. It's just because like it's so authentic. Like the taxi video we filmed in Chicago, we shot two video that day actually with Taylor G and then Pooh Breezy. It was all just like in the spur of the moment, like we. You know, Sheldon was like, yo, let's film here. I like these these lights. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. And that's what I like about working with kind of my friends because, like, they're just about it. You know, there's not really much planning going on to the video. Like, we're not really, <laughs> we're not really stressing over, like, because I know we're all creative. So, like, if you got creative minds together, like, in that spur of a moment, like, you can create something that's wonderful. But... So that's what I enjoy really. And right now I'm really doing a lot of uh, other kind of like video ventures, but I do enjoy creating with my friends. Like I'll be filming for Gene and stuff like that, but I'm not really interested in on, like taking on music videos just cause I, I just enjoy like my friends music and I, I like supporting them. That's like my way of like showing support to like my homies, you know? And it's much appreciated. So let me ask you this question, Brimmer, also. Um, as we roll into your latest Pooh Breezy collaboration, how important is it for artists, musicians, to have great visual content these days? Um, I really think, like, if you're an artist and you want to blow up, like, you gotta, you gotta have videos. A any artist that's blowing up right now have videos, have visuals, and that's even like Cole Bennett's like one of the big inspirations that I not I, I enjoy his videos but I think he has changed kind of like the way musicians can become like very popular just through like videography and and that's a way to show like your personality your style pretty much everything about yourself you can capture in that like three minutes to show to your fans or like to to the world um, it's great thing having a good sound, but it's it's also another having a great visual where people are able to see your style and you know you guys heard Gene music just recently like you know a few minutes ago, but if you had just heard that like it would just be the sound, but like if you're able to like fit his style, his like dress, his you know the way he dressed like that just makes him more like authentic and like more kind of more more different from the other musician because he's he dresses different like you can you can tell that like he's a creative mind like not only does he do music he knows how to dress he knows how to carry himself and stuff like that so video is definitely the way to go so like for instance i suck at taking pictures anything on video i suck you guys anybody around me that you that i know they will tell you i can't take pictures she would yell at me every time I try to take a picture. You're gonna do this right, where the shoe was this? That's angle, no, no, no. So I just suck at it. So what I do, or what I have, my friends, as you see beside me, find somebody that sees the best that you don't see. Because Brema sees all these different things I never see, and he captures it and makes it happen. And I just go with the flow and I trust him. Like, Let's do it. That's all I gotta say. So this next one, world premiere. Make sure y'all get that jeans, jean jacket. This jacket right here is premiered in the video. It's one of my favorites of them all. Rest in peace, XXX. He was a goat. I know uh, one of my inspirations when it comes to music as a young MC or artist. Yeah. We ready? Let's pull it up. Pull it up. Yeah, we run a video from the top. It's a world premiere. We're not stopping it early either. We're playing the whole video for the record. Y'all get to see the whole video first. And tonight, when y'all go home, 9 p.m., it will be uploaded. Ooh. Woo! Y'all ready? You ready? What's up? Hey, 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 hey. 
Yeah, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I got the pasta, ayy, I got the pasta, ayy. She won't be lying, ayy, she won't my life, ayy. She won't be lying, ayy, she won't be lying, ayy. She won't be lying, ayy, she won't be lying, ayy. On my life, you better back it up, yeah. What's what you say? Cause that cargo on the truck, yeah. I got that ice, I'm gonna throw the piece of gold, yeah. I live my life like I'm inside of the desert, yeah. This is it, yeah. That's enough, you fed. Finding up the dough, I can't go up. Whoa, 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 Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for participating. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for supporting the artists. Thank you for showing love and true school. Once again, I want to make an announcement. October 9th is our open house. That's just not for participants. All of you invited to the open house. It's open to the public. You come bring friends, family. We want all of our alumni in the building. You come meet the team. And also, as Boo Brizzy said, bring some of your younger siblings. Even if they're not in high school, turn them on to the culture early. And the breakdance classes are actually not restricted to high school age. We have younger students in the breakdance class that um, Pooh Breezy is teaching as well. With the Clan 19 in the building, give yourselves a round of applause. We're going to wrap this up. Make sure you check out trueschool.org. Find out more information about upcoming events and how you can get down with the team.